Hi folks, today we're going to talk about dovetail work holding for your five axis machine center. We're gonna show you our CAD and CAM workflows, including how we design and machine the dovetail into your stock material. We're gonna talk about some of the advantages. We're gonna make some test cuts out on the machine, and then we're gonna look at some fixturing examples that hopefully can inspire you to think about ways that you can improve your CNC machining workflows. Dovetailing gives you a positive mechanical lock as the dovetail vise interfaces and locks in with your stock. Our dovetail system also includes a locating pin so that if we're using our zero point system, we don't have to probe in our part. We know that each part is going to be accurately located in that X or Y axis. The second thing it does is provides additional rigidity and stability to the work holding setup. The third thing it does is it is really cool. It's a poke yoke thing. It's a Japanese term for avoiding mistakes. And it does this by preventing you from putting the stock in the wrong way. If you're just doing a one-off part or you're doing a bunch of parts that have different shapes and sizes, you may wanna stick with your traditional self-centering vise. But what we really like about the zero point system is that we can swap those in and out really quickly. Dovetail vices are less expensive than a traditional vise where this is Multiplied is if you're moving into automation. Let's say you have a robot, you may be purchasing five or 10 or 50 vices and the cost savings between a dovetail and a vise really add up. And speaking of automation, robots in particular are generally limited in how much they can lift. A dovetail vise weighs a fraction of what a self-centering vise weighs. Even if you're just loading parts by hand, the reduced weight of a dovetail is a welcome to change compared to a large vise. One of the last major benefits is the smaller footprint and size of a dovetail vise relative to the raw material and the finished part. This lets you more easily gain access to cut on the sides of the part as well as potentially doing some work on that sixth side, that underneath side that can help you gain better access, better clearance, better chip evacuation, and get that part done potentially in one operation. If you're machining aluminum, our template includes a roughing operation that first roughs out the material prior to cutting the dovetail. If you're really trying to go fast, you can cut the dovetail without having roughed it out, but it will usually raise a burr on this edge. So we use a 2D contour to come through and deck off that face and cut our dovetail. And then we come back with the same end mill to give ourselves a small clearance flat on our dovetail. And then to machine the locating stop pin. If we're using steel or any harder material, you first wanna rough out the majority of the material, machine our dovetail. While we've got that tool in there, we can also cut that flat. And finally, the locating pin. If your vise has dovetail jaws, you can leverage some of the benefits of dovetails here as well. Number one, it will let you hold a piece of material that's larger than your vise. And number two, when that material overhangs the vise, it actually gives you much better access to it. Like you can see here in this video from Dr. Phil over at MJK Performance. One of the best ways I find to get the creative juices flowing when you're trying to figure out how to machine a part or how to fixture it is look at examples. First off is this motorcycle triple tree. So we've got two major benefits of having a dovetail here. Number one is it gives us clearance to access the underside, that sixth side of our part and do as much work in op one as we can. This can be really helpful for both tolerances as well as surface finishes, but also giving us good geometry when we go to flip the part and do an op two or deck off. The other benefit here is that blue pyramid falls away from our dovetail, which gives us extra clearance to use the shortest gauge length or shortest stick out tool possible to increase rigidity and again, surface finishes and tolerance. Next up from Auto Engineer is a part listed as a Formula Student pedal arm. Looks like a Haas Trunnion with an incredibly long stick out, but this is where dovetail can be really impressive is the size of the part that you can have relative to the work holding. With five axis, you really want a machine that's sized for the part. So big machines for big parts, small five axis machines to give you access to get into smaller parts. This part here from Aspect CNC is pretty small for a UMC 750, but you can see they've got what appears to be 
two different risers that end up with a dovetail at the very top that give access to all six sides of this part. When you've got a really small tool like this, you need to use as short a gauge length and stick out as possible. Having a dovetail vise that's about the same size as our part is the trick. So the rest of these photos are all going to be Christmas trees, which you'll see is a pretty common thing and speaks to the benefit of using dovetails. Starting off with the Dr. Phil experience, relatively small dovetail on a Christmas tree. We've got four parts on here, ironically held in a vise. So we're gonna check all these boxes. Good part access, relatively inexpensive, lends itself to automation. This time he's got more of a pyramid than a Christmas tree. Three of these bike pedals, pretty cool to see how he gets access to all the sides by actually running a tool kind of between or through two of the other parts. Here's another dovetail Christmas tree system. Something to keep in mind is you can move the dovetails between fixtures. If you're trying to minimize the amount of work holding inventory you have on hand or just bootstrap, you could take the dovetails off a fixture like this and move them over onto say a fixture like this. Here's another dovetail tombstone. This time actually is on a fourth axis. So high part density, easy ability to pull this whole tombstone off and swap it with the second one. If you're looking at multi-part density dovetail bases, take a look at the A or B axis tilt travel of your machine tool. It's common to have 110 degree max tilt. Using a dovetail base that has a 20 degree angle will allow you to rotate your A or B axis over to that max 110 degrees and have a tool come in normal to that fifth face. Two more Christmas trees, but a little bit flatter where you're able to hold either four parts in this example of medical bone plates or finally holding three parts on this pyramid.